Hey guys, it's Alex, how are you doing? And today I'm gonna do a reaction video on the 2021 F-150. Um, they're gonna give you in-depth details as to what features are in the new 2021 F-150. I guess I'll react to them because I literally know nothing about the truck. I'm a Mustang guy, obviously, if you know the channel. I'm a Mustang guy, but we'll see. We'll just fast forward to the shit to get to the meat of it. Okay. That is one great looking truck, huh? Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> Tell everybody a little bit more about it. It, it, it looks like well, every Dennis, other F-150. We've redesigned the F-150 from bumper to bumper. In fact, every exterior body panel on this truck is new. And as you can see, it delivers a tougher, more planted look. We pulled the wheels out three quarters of an inch for a more tougher, more planted look. Its all-new exterior features a bold face and is more aerodynamic. The headlamps are the next it, expression of a C-Clamp <laughs> It looks design. like a Chevy You'll know headlamp. It's an F-150 when I mean, it comes legit looks like a Chevrolet, like Denali or GMC or a Silverado headlamp of previous generations. And all unmistakably F-150. 11, On body side, it, 11 different grill options? <laughs> what the fuck? wrong with you guys 11 different grill options More pronounced belt line and even larger wheel arches and we're bringing 13 different wheel designs 13 different wheel designs bigger wheel arches designed to the tail lamps with a new tailgate and tailgate applique. put it all together and you've got the tough rugged look our customers love and the most aerodynamic f-150 ever built let me the get this straight did you say 11 different grills 11 is, di is that dennis leary <laughs> Like, how much is Ford paying Dennis Leary to be like, the best trucks on the road, the Ford best selling it, it, it. you know, because he has that voice. Um, but is he that hard up for work or is Ford really paying the dude good money? That, that's interesting. I wonder what that kind of gig <laughs> pays. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you give me a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, I'll do whatever the fuck you want within reason. And if I think the product sucks, I'm going to say, hey, you probably don't want to pay me different grills across the series lineup from XL all the way up to limited. It's almost like too many grills. I mean, I'm into grills and that's like, wow, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough choice. <laughs> this all new truck has okay. the bold look. The oh, I'm into new, grills. But it doesn't just look tough. Capabilities at the core of Build Ford Tough. And we're targeting best in class towing, payload. Okay. So supposedly from what I heard, F150. they're just giving you the whole wow. rundown. And while we're talking about driving this new truck, we've got uh, supposedly here. like a, a hybrid setup, which it's underwhelming from what I heard, but we'll see if they can give you details about it. Thanks, Dennis. And hello to everyone watching. Karen Sullivan, marketing communications manager for Ford. Great technology to more people. That's captions? also true with the F-150 lineup. As we make more driver assist features standard on XL, as well as on the XLT, which is our highest volume model. Let me give you a couple of examples. For long days and commutes, F-150 will be the only full-size <clears throat> pickup with available hands-free driving. Thanks to active driving. <laughs> hands-free driving? <laughs> so not only supposedly does do the seats absolutely fold all the way flat, but now it has hands-free driving, so Roadhead will take on a complete new meaning. Drivers on certain sections of Road 69. I mean, the possibility. She should be like the possibilities are endless. Road 69, Roadhead, Road Reverse Cowgirl. Actually, she could drive while she rides your dick. Divided highways will be able to drive with their hands off the steering wheel. An advanced driver-facing camera monitors eye gaze and head position to ensure that the drivers are paying attention. Head position? Well, what if the head's bobbing on that bitch? Yo. <laughs> the only rely on steering wheel input. The system notifies the driver that they need to return their focus to the road and will possibly slow the vehicle until they're ready to engage again. Okay, no I'm not a fan of that at all. Drive, I don't like hands-free driving. X -factor. An available it's class not. exclusive intersection assist is here to help. It's not, it's not necessary. Intersection assist detects oncoming traffic while the driver is attempting to make a left turn and will apply the brakes if it senses it needs to avoid a possible collision. Active driver assist and intersection assist. Intersection assist, drive assist. When do you actually get to drive this vehicle? When you're backing up to the boat dock? But don't they have like an automatic backup 
whatever deal too are two highlights of 10 new driver assist technology features. of course <laughs> in fact f-150 xlt and above models have more standard driver assist technologies than any other vehicle in its class uh -huh, uh -huh. come on Karen. thanks Karen. tell me more so about that's it. it right nope there's more let's take a look i thought dennis Lewis was fighting fire somewhere from chicago or new york here we go. Power boost. Three five liter power boost. Full hybrid power train. Targeted to have the most torque on any light duty full size pickup. Most horsepower. Uh, maximum towing capacity 12,000 pounds. It's pretty awesome for a half ton. Uh, a 7.2 kilowatt uh, like inverter deal. Wow. Okay, that's cool. To power some pretty serious equipment with that. Oh, they tell you what you can power with it. A chop saw, an air compressor. <laughs> wow, that's that's kind of neat. Wow, okay, so if you're going camping, the truck is pretty much your power source for everything. So basically, it's targeted to be like the most powerful, most versatile, most capable. Um, basically with the, that inverter deal um, that's pretty neat um, to be able to take that to a job site and do a lot of the work and use the truck as your power source okay let's let's get to it I, I, just, I don't want to be here for 20 minutes that one looks good right there that looks really good of course the one that looks really good is the limited the, the $70,000 truck and the one in the middle is probably 50 Seriously cool trucks. And here is Don Hychocki to tell us more. Hi, Dennis. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, this is an amazing looking truck. Tell us what's going on underneath. Absolutely. We're taking the power of choice to the next level with the introduction of the all new Power Boost hybrid engine. It's the only full hybrid in a full size pickup. We'll be releasing details closer to launch, but today I'm very proud to announce. The Power Boost Hybrid Engine is targeted to have the best-in-class power and torque and okay, will have at least so 12,000 pounds car, maximum available towing capability. And it's targeted Let's to get have to the meat EPA of it. Let's go. Five seconds. EP estimated. Okay, well, hold on. Of approximately 700 miles of driving on a single tank of gas. And of course, 700 miles of driving on a single tank of gas. So how big, how big is a gas tank? Like how like 40 gallon because that's not that impressive <laughs> if it's like 21 miles a gallon 20 miles i mean it's still impressive for a truck but i believe the five liter version can get like high teens low 20s as, as it sits so if a ecoboost twin turbo well, it does have the battery and all that bullshit in it so that might be kind of neat yeah. i'll shut up we'll see and torture tested like all f-series trucks and with pro power on board available across the lineup it eliminates the needs to carry a portable generator. That in is the pretty bed. cool. Pro Power on board provides the extra power you need for everything from tailgating to camping to the entire work site. No other truck Look at that has roof. ever Look come at that, close uh, to providing this level of portable situation. power. I forget to what they call it. F-150 with the all new Power Boost engine delivers the most power. The and all new Power Boost engine? So isn't it just a 35 Eco Boost? It truly is a smart truck with hybrid a smart world stuff behind it. Now let's take a closer look inside the all new F-150. As you can see, we've completely redesigned the interior, refining even the oh, look at the center. Uh, basically, an iPad. That's, a that's good size. Not Tesla big, but new features and technology really big. That, will change the truck that seems to be like the new customers. thing to have massive instance, center only one displays. Third of truck owners use their laptops in the cab, but there has been everything. a comfortable way to do it. This inspired us to create the interior work surface. Okay. To offer a large, flat work surface that makes it easier, more comfortable. Actually, that does come in handy if and you're a contractor and you're cab. doing a lot of, yeah, exactly, laptop, actually tuning. But obviously, we're not going to be uh, tuning that truck in person or any car in person. The largest we've ever offered in F Series trucks. <laughs> Add Serves trailer, trailer type. Wow. And is standard on more than 50% of the lineup. So does that is that some now, kind of anti-sway? We understand truck customers uh, spend setting? many days and sometimes nights in their truck. So we created max recline seats. <laughs> that yeah, max recline. Mm -hmm. This is what we want to talk about. Nearly 108. 
if you meet some Colombian putty and she want to suck on that bitch out <laughs> and ride that bitch after she suck on it, we have... The degrees with the seat cushion <laughs> rising to meet the seat back. In the short Damn, the hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this provides maximum Dude, comfort. Dude, you could, you could slay whichever the direction. Rear, you could be in the back, in between both seats, legs up. To keep things organized. Yeah, sleep in there. Okay, sleep in there. Fuck out of here. here. It extends the entire width of the rear seats. So yeah, that girl. Hey, hey baby. <laughs> and even has dividers for split storage. As we heard earlier from Jackie, the back of the truck is the hub. So on a serious note, that's very impressive that you're able to bring a truck that has all that stuff incorporated into the vehicle itself. You don't have to bring a generator. Again, I don't use that, but I think there's a huge need for that out there for guys that do work on the road instead of having a generator. This thing is a generator. Um, obviously, I don't I don't know how big of equipment you can use, but a chop saw, you know, have some lights. Um, supposedly, it has on the bed like a built-in ruler so you can actually measure cut and everything right there, there. for many crews on the job site the new yeah, look, look at that on cue adds built-in functionality but is it metric writing, <laughs> cutting measuring you have the metric codes we also saw that many had difficulty accessing the cargo bed from the side of the truck so the running board now extends toward the rear tire Okay. Power extended running is that a thing? Also lower as you approach the vehicle with I'm terrible at like knowing what's We've useful in trucks. Uh, oh, I see. So it extends all the way out to the back. So you don't have to stand on the tire. Here. Yeah, I've had to Let's do that a couple times. Let's look at what's new in terms of technology, starting with one of the reasons that many folks own a truck in the first place, trailer. Whether you're a novice or a pro, no way. The it, it's gonna. It's easy. basically F this truck is gonna negate the one of the most storied pastimes of all time is being at the boat ramp and watching people not know how to navigate their stupid sea doo or shitty ass boat into the water ford took care of that for you by saying i don't know we just like hit a button and the thing just kind of does it on its own continue to offer pro trailer backup assist which makes backing up the trailer as easy as turning a knob you're kidding Trailer reverse guidance is a popular super duty productivity feature that will now be available on F-150. It uses high res cameras to provide multiple views along with- So backing up in a straight line is an issue. So they basically auto trailer. assist you backing up a trailer in a straight line. Taylor to take a closer look at why the all new F-150 is the most Jesus. connected. No one's ever gonna fuck up backing up a trailer anymore with these cars. Thanks, Craig. We understand customers will need new and different tools to get the job done as the Where's world that around them becomes smarter the and more connected. And the all new F-150 is Ford's next step to bringing connected vehicles to customers. I like that his boots match the belt. Them. That's pretty slick. I mean, that's that's nice when the guy has a black shirt, jeans and the boots match the belt and to put them more in command of their driving environment. Hello, for instance, F-150 is the first full-size pickup with over-the-air updates. You'll get all the updates no. you typically so expect. No, so it uses like a map, GSM network, but it goes and it that. basically Our updates the, the vehicle software automatically. I'm not a fan of that. It's almost like... Um, predictive maintenance to feature upgrades. It's, let's say if you and put a tune on it, uses, right? It's going to phone home. When your experience is it's going to say... Uh, vehicle calibration has changed and something's fucked and it'll it'll flash right on your screen boop 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 warranty disabled warranty disabled bop 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 you know and you're like you're fucked so that'll be interesting interrupted by a software update gotta find a way of shutting that off not or having it not phone home updates are seamless they're simple and they're hassle free in most cases these bumper to bumper updates will be near instantaneous so you can keep moving most updates will happen in the background and lengthier improvements can be scheduled at a time you scheduled choose, like overnight very american the way of saying scheduled is much more vehicle uptime delivering the increased productivity and dependability our customers need this is made possible with right, the right, go, 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 access come on, come on. for up to 10 devices yeah 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 wi-fi got all earlier. the shit so that's why we're making sync 4 standard on f-150 Sync 4 Sync is standard. Okay. With the freshest maps and real-time connected traffic updates. 
I did uh, see a uh, with preview of that. It, it's pretty baller. It's um, and music very impressive, the sync stuff. Even and the older sync was a little clunky, but um, sync 3 and sync 4, huge Simple improvement. to use right from day one. Sync 4 can also wirelessly connect to your smartphone for integration with Apple. And we already Apple have that. It's called Bluetooth. Auto Bluetooth to audio. Your favorite apps. And for truck customers specifically, the 12 inch screen and buttons were designed The thing so is, can we can watch porn them, as we drive? Because you should be able to take your hands off the Ford wheel. So, Pornhub and Uporn are, uh, they should be accessible, like this web browsing, as you don't look at the road because it'll automatically stop for you. <laughs> and you can lean back and jerk off. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm going to self drive. Whoa. <laughs> other vehicles, road infrastructure, <laughs> people, and businesses. Over time, so huge screen, seats lay back, and it self-drives. This Imagine is a jerk-off wagon. Orders a copy for or, a, or a, you know, then roadhead wagon. The traffic accident, so you can still get to the job site on time. How about that as a proof point for our vision for smart vehicles in a smart world? Okay. Our customers are tackling challenges and making the world a I don't like place. the guy in the left. And the He's problems just they uh, tackle a little annoying. As as they are. This all new F-150 brings the power of choice with a okay, six let's engine go. choices, including gas, diesel, and hybrid options. To meet a so the diesel option supposedly is that EcoBoost, not the, the, the EcoBoost, um, diesel, Eco Diesel, whatever. No one cares about that. It's a junk ass old engine no one gonna no one's gonna buy a, a diesel f-150 i'm sorry ford throw that shit in the garbage the five liter version is gonna have cylinder on demand so that's gonna be an issue <laughs> it's like the auto start thing and the first thing when the f-150 owner has auto start they're like can you disable auto start i'm like yes here you go um so cylinder on demand they're gonna want you to disable that too hopefully we can uh the three five eco uh eco power boost is a you know, they haven't released numbers on it yet in terms of torque and power and zero to 60 and quarter mile, but they're talking about range, but the range isn't really that impressive because it's a 700 mile range, but how big is a tank? You know, like 37 gallons or something that, that that's like 23, 24 miles a gallon. So pleasure to introduce the toughest, most productive F-150 ever. And the most powerful light duty full size. And it don't look that much different than the, our the, the current F-150. It just has like an updated they need grill. To make them even more productive every day. Thank you for watching. And a special thank you to all of our customers. Very good. Who help keep America moving every okay, day. Okay, so I'll give credit where credit is due. This video was from uh, DPC Cars. I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, I don't get flagged for using their shit. But basically, it is what we thought it was, except it has some kind of self-driving mode stuff like that and it also has the seats go flat five or six different engine options has the standard v6 the diesel the five liter the eco boost and the 27 i think is going to be available the 27 which i think is the underdog of all of them and it's the in my opinion one of the better bang for the buck uh versions a 27 eco boost is just awesome awesome but the 35 is going to be the grunt of them all but hopefully you guys like these type of videos where i'm basically reacting to a new product that ford puts out there because that's my wheelhouse uh, i'm not really going to start reacting to basketball dribbles and rap songs i'm going to react to what's happening with ford specifically so if you like these kind of videos just let me know i'll try to do uh, more depending on what ford puts out there in the near future because new model years are coming out and we'll see you know what kind of uh stuff they're going to start to put out there surprise though that one engine did not get mentioned in this setup. Godzilla. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.